Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about anulin. Anulin is one of the kind of monocyclic non-benzenoid neutral compound. Uh, so in this particular video, we will discuss the basic concept of anulin and I will provide you a handmade notes, which are definitely going to very helpful for your exam preparations. So what is anulin? The monocyclic conjugated system of the general formula CH2M have been called anulins. The number of carbon atom in the ring being donate uh, denoted by a prefix number in brackets in this system of monomine culture benzene is 6 anulin and cot is a uh, uh, cyclooctatetrin is 8 anulin so this is the basic introduction of anulin so basically anulins are monocyclic means it is in ring form and it's uh, and annulins are conjugated means the uh, pi bonds are in alternative positions so uh, the compound which show the conjugated system uh, which is, uh, and which is monocyclic that, uh, so that have been called annulins the number of carbon atoms in the ring being denoted by the prefix number of brackets so for understand the nomenclature of annulin we take the example of benzene uh, so basically this is the uh, normal structure of normal structure of benzene so uh, in in process of nomenclature of anulin so we uh, so uh, it depends on the number of carbon present in the ring in this benzene ring there are six carbon present in this ring so that that's why its name is six anulin so basically, uh, name of anulin depend on the compounds carbon number present in the compound. So in this compound, six carbon are present. So that's why its name is uh, anulin six anulin, and that six is uh, denote uh, denoted by a prefix number in the bracket. Uh, as same, the cyclobutadiene has four carbon in this compound. So this is uh, the name is. Four, uh, 4 in bracket and that name is 4 anulin. So this is the basic concept of nomenclature of anulin. I hope uh, you understood. Uh, some important points related to anulins is since the carbon atoms occurs as doubly bonded pair, an anulin must have an even number of carbon. The anulin can uh, can be grouped into two series first is those in which m is odd having 4n plus 2 pi electron those in which m is even having 4n plus 2 pi electron so the important point is anulin must have an even number of carbons if any compound have even number of carbons means uh, 4 anulin 6 anulin and 8 anulins so that is a very important criteria for anulin that must have even number of carbon, uh, even number of carbons in that compound. Uh, there is no such like uh, uh, five anulins, seven anulins. So it's uh, so this is very important point. One of the yeah. So all kind of anulins are grouped into two series. First is those in which M uh, is odd having four n plus two pi electron. So 4n plus 2 pi electron, this is the example of, uh, this is the formula of Huckel's rule. Huckel rule is very important. Um, we uh, Before we discuss about the Huckel's rule, I leave the link in description box. You first watch that concept that will be very helpful uh, in this uh, annulin concept also. And aromaticity is definitely very important topic related to this unit. So uh, in, in video of aromaticity, we will talk about um, Huckel's. So I leave the uh, link in description box. You can check out that video also. So 4n plus 2 is uh, basically Huckel's rule formula. So first kind of anulins which are having uh, odd number of uh, m is odd having 4n plus 2 pi electron and those in which m is even having 4n plus 4n pi electron. So basically, annulins are categorized in two, uh, two um, categories. First is aromatic compounds, which follow Huckel's rule. And second is anti-aromatic compound, which not follow Huckel's rule, which follow 4n pi electrons. Example, cyclobutadiene is non-aromatic compound because of, uh, because of there is a uh, 4 pi electrons and 4 pi electron is follow this rule not follow Huckel's rule that's why and 14 anulin is anti-aromatics uh, but 6 anulin benzene is followed uh, Huckel's rules because uh, benzene have 6 pi electron that's why it is aromatic compound uh, 
and 8 anilin is also non aromatic compound because it's not follow huckel's rule it's have a um, 8 pi electron and 8 pi electron follow this formula not huckel's rule that way it is cyclo octatetrain is also a non aromatic compound so these are the basic uh, thing and one is m m is odd means uh, m represent the bond there is a two bond m is uh, uh, m is even that why it's follow this rule and this is anti aromatics m is odd means it's follow huckel's rule so it is a basic kind of trick that you uh, uh, that you saw this there is a two m equal to 2 pi bond that's why it's anti aromatic and uh, even number and m is odd number that's why it's aromatic compound so these are the basic concept i hope you understood now some important points of anulins that 10 anulin is very important because um, it has uh, some important concept also uh, it seems like a um, uh, aromatic compound but it is actually not aromatic compound uh, let's see the next anulin in the series is 10 anulin and isomers of which is shown below at first glance this may appear to be a aromatic module uh, molecule because it has 10 pi electron 4 and plus 2 value when n equal to 2 n equal to 2 because it uh, here two rings present in this example so uh, it's a uh, it's may appear in a aromatic molecules because it has a 10 uh, 10 pi electrons it's follow Huckel's rule 4n plus 2 uh, rule that why it is aromatic compound but uh, remember that before considering the remember of pi electron in the system we must first ask whether the molecule has a continuous cyclic array of parallel p orbitals this compound is uh, certainly cyclic and there is a p orbital on each and every ring atoms Hi however it's turn out that the ring is not planar so basically the uh, basically this anulins uh, every compounds which show the aromatic uh, uh, properties they must have a cyclic uh, they must have a cyclic compound they must have a uh, cyclic in nature conjugated and uh, they follow huckel's rule they are planar sp2 hybridized but if any one of criteria is not follow that compound so that compound is not aromatic so in this example in 10 anulin there is uh, two hydrogen present two hydrogens are uh, so basic uh, so in this uh, example ring is not planar because of the reason of the ring is not planar because repulsion of the hydrogen atom in the center of the molecule the central cavity is not large enough to accommodate them so the ring must bend out of planarity since the ring is not planar it's uh, uh, this 10 anulin is non aromatic so basically uh, 10 uh, anulin is um, is not planar because of the repulsions of this hydrogen that why it is anti aromatic but if we seems uh, this uh, in general rules they follow the 4n plus 2 huckel's rule that's why it's um, uh, aromatics we thought but uh, the hydrogens present in uh, the hydrogen present in center in the center of this example that's why uh, and the hydrogens are repulsion and they are um, came in anti positions of each, each other that's why it is not uh, aromatic compound it is non aromatic compound uh, as similar 14 uh, anulins is also uh, arise uh, the similar problem arise with 14 anulins which is the next anulin of 4n plus 2 uh, number of the pi electrons this molecule uh, can achieve planarity but the repulsion of the hydrogen atoms directed into the relatively small central cavity uh, diminishes uh, the aromatic stabilizations so basically this is 14 anulins and it's also so uh, huckel's rule uh, 4n plus 2 uh, number of pi electrons but the repul uh, but because of the repulsions of hydrogen hydrogen atoms in the center of this example that's why the 14 uh, anulins is also non aromatic or anti aromatics not aromatic compound uh, 18 anulins the next anulin with uh, uh, 4n plus 2 number of pi electron is 18 anulin which has 18 pi electron this molecule central cavity is large enough to accom accommodate the hydrogens the, uh, that reside inside it so it can achieve a nearly planar conformity uh, 
conformations which allow it enjoy aromaticity so 18 electron has a large cavity central cavity like a, a large in, uh, space in central cavity that's why uh, hydrogen has um, in the in the hydrogen atoms of this compound has no repulses that's why 18 aniline is aromatic in compound aromatic compound so it is not it is aromatic compound because of uh, their um, hydrogen atoms of this compound is not repulsive so this is the basic concept of anulins and uh, some important anulins 18 14 and 10 anulins is very important uh, for your exam preparations for your uh, for your semester examinations uh, and uh, this i hope this concept you understood and this handmade notes is helpful for your exam preparations for um, for handmade notes of Uh, uh msc semester examinations for msc semester and bsc examinations and maths notes if you want so you can please check out my pdf store link given in description box uh, which is definitely going to very helpful for your exam preparations and um, thank you so much for watching